Hello and welcome to this new episode of Photography Behind the Scenes. In this one, I'm starting out pretty early in the morning at shortly before 6 while it's still dark. I was really excited for this morning because I had just shot the mist the evening before and was guessing that the mist will stay until the morning. As you can see, it did and I was riding my bike up this road to get to a nearby river where I planned to walk around this morning. But of course, I couldn't resist to stop on the way to get some first shots here in the mist. As I've so often been doing recently, I'm setting up the camera on the tripod to set the interval shooting mode so that I can run into the photograph. Pretty decent first photo I would say. Good start already. So here's the first photo of the session. Not going to be my favourite, but I do think it's a good start. While shooting the first photograph, I had already spotted something interesting to the left. In the distance I could see these trees next to a low building with a few lights. It looked kind of cool, so I got the shot and this is how it turned out. I think it's pretty nice, I find it a little mysterious. I continued my ride up the road and it didn't take long until I decided to stop again. This time I found a field, which at first doesn't really sound extraordinary, but what caught my attention here was that across the field on the other side, there were some lights. I don't know why there were lights over there, but I thought it looked cool. As usual, feet are already soaked. Yes, I like this one. Ooh, this one's cool. Yeah, oh, that's definitely already a good photo there. Let's continue. Here are the photos. I got a whole bunch here. There's one I like in particular, this one. I think everything worked out nicely here, I really enjoy the effect of the slow shutter, the blue hour feeling of the photo and the lights in the back. While editing this one, I suddenly felt like this could look cool as a black and white and oof, I like this version. I rarely have any black and white photos, but this photograph and the black and white edit go together very well in my opinion. However, I love colours so much as well that I can't really decide which version I prefer. I'm curious to know what you think, so if you have any thoughts, please leave a comment. Here's a second black and white, which I think also works well. After that stop on the field, I continued for a couple of minutes and came across this beautiful big pair of trees in the middle of an empty field. Here's the photograph I was able to get, I like the feeling of it. So here's the river I was speaking about. I plan to park my bike somewhere and just walk around this area and enjoy some more photography in the mist. I began my walk and rather quickly found the next potential composition. I found this small power pole in the field next to a cornfield. The photos are all right. Next, I came back to the bridge to cross over the river and decided to photograph the river from this angle and did the same on the other side of the bridge as well. As you can see, I stuck to this rather dark blue hour look, even though the light had become quite normal by now. I think the vibe fits the photos quite well. Here on the other side now, I found this signpost and I liked how little the backdrop distracted from the subject because of all the mist, so I decided to set up a simple center composition here and got this photo. 
Very simple, I like it. Next, I just went past the signpost to photograph a simple, wide landscape of the field. However, I think this one didn't work out so well because I was a little too far away from the power poles in the distance, therefore you can barely see anything in the photo. I continued to walk along this path and came closer to those power poles. I came to this one, which I thought looked pretty cool, so I got this shot here, which I think turned out beautifully. I enjoy the composition and, of course, the overall mood of the mist created. Oh, actually, this angle is nice. Nicer. So yeah, as I walked past the power pole, I preferred how it looked from this angle, so I decided to get another shot. However, then I thought, wouldn't it be cool to use the intervalometer again and walk somewhere in that field? Could look quite epic. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, this turned out better than I thought. I was like ready to do it straight again because I thought this wasn't going to work out, but this is actually looking pretty darn cool. Holy crap. Oh, wow. As you noticed from my initial reaction, I think this is epic. The subject just adds a whole new layer to this photo. Now, when looking at it, it feels like a film still, and you can start wondering in what kind of story this guy is walking across this misty field. I like this. Not far from where I just shot the last photograph, I came to these benches, where I decided to stop for a minute because I was thirsty. So now here is an absolutely necessary POV clip of me drinking out of this river. Enjoy. Anyway, after that, I stayed here at the benches because on the field in front of me was this huge power pole. Pole is definitely the wrong word for this thing, you'll see this thing's size in comparison to my height in a few seconds. I was aiming to get a similar photograph as previously, one of me walking through this field. This photo also turned out beautifully, I find. I like how I can more or less show the size of this thing by standing next to it to demonstrate how tiny I am in comparison. Here's another version I got, this is just a different crop of the previous photo. After that, I continued my walk along this path and found some more photo subjects in the distance fading away in the mist. This is what I got. It's actually not bad, but after the previous photos, this is kind of boring. Just a little further, I saw some cool looking trees in the distance. You know what? Wouldn't this be all the more cooler with me running straight through it? <laughs> After doing so many of these self-portraits now, I feel a little weird actually. It's always me running through the photos, but I'm on the shoot alone, so <laughs> it's the way to go.
Here's the photo. I enjoy the minimalism here, however I'm not sure anymore if it was actually necessary to position myself under the tree, because I think it's barely even visible. On the other hand, it's a small detail only a few will catch, which is also kinda cool. See that there? I think this beautiful misty morning is coming to an end. The sun is now coming through. We can even see all those houses back there now. We didn't see those before. Further along the path, I came to the next bridge where I could cross over the river again to walk back to my bike. But first, I got another shot of the river from both sides of the bridge. From the bridge, I had seen the spot here, which for some reason looked interesting to me. I can't really explain what caught me here, but something here is interesting. <laughs> so after getting scared by the duck, I made my way back to my bike, which marked the end of this beautiful misty morning photography session. I really enjoyed it, I think I got a fair amount of good photographs. In this episode I can't decide on only one photo of the day, therefore here are my two photos of the day, these are my favourites of the session. I want to know if you agree, or if you have any other photos in mind which you personally think turned out better, feel free to leave any thoughts or opinions in the comments. That's it for this week, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did, and I'll hopefully see you again next week in the next video, until then, goodbye.